Readings, Blade Lovers. This old sword back with you. And what do we have today but the Best Tech Toucan, another really fine budget EDC. I think these are coming in 60 65 these days, maybe less. I'm not sure, but another fine Best Tech budget knife. This particular one is in a gray Cerakote. Guessing that it's a Cerakote. Has an interesting recurve. And um, I guess you could call it a exaggerated Tonto blade. Or drop point. You name it. We have a tan G10 handle. We have open back. We have a metal. None of this is titanium as far as I know. So we have a steel butt with a lanyard hole. Butt spacer. Is that an appropriate term? I don't know. Uh, that could mean whole different things, right? We have some nice uh, weight relieving holes inside there on the clip side and some even larger ones on the liner lock side sorry that's the show side <laughs> that's the liner lock side but we got a lot of weight relieving all the way around we'll find out just how much in a moment so the Best Tech Toucan is a budget EDC. It is right to the pommel, skull crusher, hammer, whatever you want to call it. We've got, we're going to call it eight and a half inches, so it's not a small guy. We have a blade of three and a half, right to the point of the handle and we've got a cutting edge of three and a half since we're losing a little bit of blade there but we're gaining a little bit there we have a blade thickness of 0.14 which translates to 3.7 millimeter We have a handle thickness, 0.62, so not that thin. Doesn't appear to be overly fat, but it's nicely contoured, as you can see. Got some nice uh, machine marks. There. Jimping on the back of the blade, not particularly effective. It's slippery, I think, because you got the coating over it, and they were probably uh, buffed or polished a little bit before that coating was put on. We have the nice Best Tech pivot pin and a T8 on the other side. You have a pocket clip that's not particularly deep carry. Looks like about three quarters of an inch is going to stick out of the pocket, if you don't mind. But everything's nice and color coordinated because they use the same coating on everything. A little bit on the glossy side. And it's on bearings. Very smooth. Haven't loosened it at all. Not exactly drop shutty, but could easily be turned into that. Don't have the box for this one because I picked it up uh, pre-used, uh, pre whatever that term is, used, <laughs> but not abused on eBay. Can be open with the flipper. Can be failed. So not that strong a detent. Yep. And 
can open it with a thumb with the hole. Can we spidey flick it? Probably, but I'm going to cut myself if I try to do that. Let's uh, line it up against some of the usuals. Oh, I didn't get a weight on it. Let's get a weight. Yeah, with all those lightning holes, we still got 5.35 ounces. Interesting. Got to put you on a diet, man. I'll join you. <laughs> okay. There is the Freak. And using our handy-dandy lines on my cutting mat here, We've got identical, give or take a millimeter. Wrap one. And what have we got? Wrap one is a tad bit longer overall. Yes, it is. I'd say a quarter of an inch. Or thereabouts, a little more. The blade is about the same. So we got maybe slightly longer handle on the rat one. And Griptilian is a shorter overall blade, but not by much. The blade is slightly shorter. Quarter inch, maybe. So another quick look around. Screws are recessed, but dome heads. I don't feel them really sticking out much. Again, we've got the nice millwork along the edge and here interesting pattern that they give you. We have finger grooves. Uh, my fingers fit okay in it, but that one's hitting the point. So although it's nice and styly and so forth, I think finger grooves are not always a good idea because everybody's hand's a little different. So if you had a smaller hand, you might be able to fit that third finger in here, index finger feels comfortable, pinky feels comfortable, but the middle two are sort of struggling to figure out where they should be. Um, again, nice lanyard hole and a hammer for some light work. Little pattern on the back there. The rest of it's open construction. Liner lock, weight relieving. Not a deep carry clip, but not all that bad. And um, a little on the heavy side at over five ounces. The Best Tech Toucan, uh, still a beautiful, smooth, well-constructed knife. May be your style, it may not, but we'll let you decide. Give it a like, subscribe, and enjoy. We'll be back at you soon. This old sword signing out.